INCIT stands for Inquiry Intelligent Tutoring System. We created it in response to the next generation science standards, specifying what competencies or practices kids need to know. Teachers also need to assess these. So the system collects fine-grained mouse click data, data from students' open responses, data from their widgets, data from their simulations and changes that they make to the simulations, takes all this data and then using patented AI algorithms, assesses them in real time, reports out to the teacher in real time, alerts the teacher as to who needs help, gives him or her instructional tips on how to help that student, which are shown to lead to bona fide learning. And then while the student's working, an AI tutor named Rex jumps in to help the student in the exact way that the student needs help. And this has also been shown to lead to bona fide learning and transfer over long periods of time. The Inkit's AI assessment is an extremely well-designed, well-thought-out and rigorous system. It draws upon deep analysis of the knowledge underlying the NGSS performance expectation standards. It uses that to design tasks that get at various facets of the knowledge and skills that students need to be able to meet the various performance expectations. It uses the capability of machine learning and AI to be able to mine those answers and provide constructive feedback to both teachers and to students. So it wraps this whole thing into one coherent operational package, which makes it manageable to do formative assessment of challenging science standards in the classroom as a key component of improving the outcomes of student learning. This is just a new way of thinking about learning. To me, this is very powerful and really helps teachers meet the challenges of the next generation science standards. Kentucky's role in the development of the next generation science standards was basically that of a lead state. The new science standards being three-dimensional was a huge paradigm shift for us. And even to this day, 12 years later, teachers find it a struggle and how to deal with this type of instruction. But the key to it for us has been the just-in-time feedback. It's immediate and ongoing, so a teacher can monitor multiple students at one time and really see, do I have one or two kids struggling with a certain concept, or is it the whole class? Before, when I was in the classroom, a student would raise their hand, I'd have to go over, I'd have to spend time orienting. That means I'd have to read over their work, kind of look to see where they are in their work, and make that assessment, and that all takes time. But now, using Inkits, I get that information right from the dashboard. I know exactly what I need to say, what I might need to do to get them on track. So it's saving me a lot of time. So I've seen real growth in students over the course of just doing maybe two and three labs in these practices. One of the main reasons why we brought Inkits to Maria Varisco Rogers Charter School was because over the last few years, we've noticed a change in our NJSLA scores, which is the state test for New Jersey. It became like a supplemental support for our curriculum. Inkits is saving us time because it's grading everything for us. I feel like Inkits is a pioneer of this type of program. So far, we've done at least six different assignments in the program Inkits, and we've seen a growth within our students already. The Inkits program has really given teachers a great way to assess the nitty gritty details of the NGSS standards. Quite a few of the modules from Inkits align perfectly with our open SIED units. Many of the teachers can really hone in on specific skill sets that are aligned to the science and engineering practices. Inkits is a great program because it serves many different learners from our gifted and talented algebra students all the way through our students with IEPs and students who speak multiple languages. We have seen scores improve since our initial implementation in 2020 and 2021. In our last round of data collection, our middle school students have actually beat the state scores when it comes to sense making as that some claim. So we're actually seeing growth, but we're seeing growth higher than the state. Rex doesn't only tell you that you got it wrong, it explains it, what you got wrong and what to look at next so you can get it right. I think that Rex as an AI tutor allows me to check back on what I've done wrong. It allows me to see the mistakes I've made and then allow me to actually think about what I can do better the next time. Rex is gonna be immediately there when you need it. 
unlike the teacher who was helping the other students. He was talking about the objective. And once I read the objective, I finally got the answer that I needed. Rex really helps me because when I get a mistake wrong in the program, it gives you a hint thing saying what you need to change, what you need to do better on. He really helps me think as a scientist. What do you think about teachers having this really real time data about what you're doing? I think it's really important that teachers leverage AI for the benefits that it can offer, the insights and the really deep actionable data to really improve their own practices at you know teaching science and also take away the onerous things and help kids reach their full potential. Really, that's what this is about.